Hi, I'm Joe Morrissey. I'm gonna show you how to play Vi. It's a fun, easy, quick game, and we should have you out of here in about five minutes. All right, so first, you open up the box, you sort out the four different color tokens that you have in front of you, and then you pull out the four different family cards. There's four different cards for each of the four families. Just set them in front of the tokens. And then you take the inevitable Empress, and we set her aside for now. We'll come back to her. So, you start to shuffle the deck, and as you're doing that, you have your friends take the color that they want to play and put it, put it in front of them. Now you put the house cards, that's what we call these four, in front of you. Now, you take the Inevitable Empress and you put her in the bottom four of the deck. And you shuffle that up. And you put it at the bottom. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to set out the initial starting pattern on the board. And it makes this nice plus shape. And then you deal four cards to every player. Now you're ready to play the game. Vi is the card game of capture and control. The object of the game is to get the largest connected kingdom by the end of the game. On your turn, you can play from either your hand or your house. Let's start with your hand. Your hand is made up of land cards. Playing a land card gives you control of it, but you want more than just control of the cards you play. Land cards can also chain when you play them. That means if you play a land card from your hand next to the same land on the board, then you control both lands. If more than one of those lands is connected, you take control of all of them. That's chaining. So what counts as connected in the world of Vi? Connected cards count when they are adjacent but not diagonal. This means sides connect cards, not corners. At the end of our turn, make sure you have four cards in your hand, and then play continues to your left. Now for the house cards. They are more powerful, and you don't want to forget about them. So let's learn what each one does. Each house comes with four family cards. Each card takes over lands in a different way. To know which card does what, just look at the symbols on the cards. Remember, not to draw when you play from your house, because you already have four cards in your hand. The king takes any cards it touches in a cross formation. While the queen does the same thing, but in an X formation. The advisor is the most powerful card. Playing the advisor allows you to gain control of every card around it. The air, on the other hand, is slightly different. When you play the air card, you control it and choose a single surrounding card to claim as well. All right, so now you know how all the different cards work, so play continues around the board until the inevitable Empress is drawn. And when she's drawn, the game's immediately over and you begin scoring. This is when you see who had the best strategy and wound up with the largest connected kingdom. Remember, only connected kingdoms count. So that's Vi. It's fun, it's quick, and you just learned how to play it. So have fun, and please remember to back us on Kickstarter. Thanks a lot.